क्या आप आई की तैयारी कर रहे हैं और कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट को ढाई लाख तक की फीस नहीं पे करना चाहते अगर हाँ तो बाईस हजार में घर बैठ के स्टडी एक यू के पेनड्राइव कोर्स के साथ आप आई की तैयारी कर सकते हैं आज ही विजिट करें स्टडी आई क्यू डॉट कॉम हाई ऑल सो टूडे आर टॉपिक इज माइक्रो सर्विस कंटेनर एंड सर्वरलेस सो दीज आर थ्री टर्म्स बट बिफोर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दीज टर्म्स द गुड पार्ट इज टू बी अंडरस्टैंड इट वाई इट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वी नीड टू बी गेट वन स्टेप बिहाइंड और वेन वी से दी स्टेप बिहाइंड वी कैन से वी हैव टू बी मूव लेफ्ट साइड टू अंडरस्टैंड वाई दी माइक्रो सर्विस कंटेनर एंड सर्वरलेस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस so let's go to the slide one so you see that there are two type of approach i am showing here so one is the traditional applications and one is the microservices approach so until and unless we know that what are, what was the pitfalls or a problem into the traditional application there is no point or there is no benefit of understand the microservice approach or maybe someone can say that why i should go to the microsoft why it is the problem into the traditional application So I'm just taking a minute to explain what is the traditional application. So generally, traditional applications are of two type: single app, or maybe I can say here single app process, and the three tier approach. So single app process is saying that yes, I have a some sort of a code for a UI, for backend, for the database layer connectivities, and then I have a database, which is very very old. but from the last couple of years also we are only in old into the tier architecture or layer architecture and the three tiers are basically a ui and a backend and then finally we have a database so then we have a several modules and the layers which we are creating either into the ui layers or a backend layers to make our layers and the tiers more and more smart and enough from the last couple of years so what was the problem when we are making this traditional application so let's say i have this three tier application and in my backend i have a some compute engine well let's say rate engine so which is giving me some sort of a rating that particular rate engine has a heavy computation need but because of this heavy computation need i need to scale my application when i need to be scale my application i need to be scale the complete backend which is very expensive and most of the machines would not be working because i only need a single engine to be work as in a more computer engine rather than the complete backend engine so what is the solution for that so that particular solutions come into the microservices approach sorry so microsoft service approach so you have heard about the soa architecture which says service oriented architecture so service oriented architecture is saying that whatever you are making make a more functional services out of it so when i say functional services that are individual services actually giving the individual feature to us so microservices is actually a subset of a soa or i would say there is a good some principles of a soa which we need to be implement to make a microservice so what are those principles are that is it should be either a stateless generally stateless is a more meaningful some microservices so we can give them the expandability and the scalability then there would be a specific feature which has to be implemented it would be very loosely coupled but when it comes to be a service it is very cohesive so when when i say the cohesive within the service means that whatever the functionality you need to be implement try to be implement within that services there would be a less calls to the other services or maybe for our uh, implementation it should be a less io less services calls less third party calls and all so it would be more cohesive when within the service but it's loosely coupled it means that it can work as much as individual or idealistic it should be a individual one it do not require any other input or uh, interfaces to be implement so here we say that services can be into the presentation layers as well it can be on a backend either as stateless services or as stateful services so my emphasis is not more on to the explain stateless and stateful my emphasis is more that how i can make my system more scalable and for the scalable i need to be go beyond the traditional approach and come with the microservices approach so any particular time if any specific services is required a more computing or is basically a weak link into my chain for making my application scalable then i can make it more and more scalability how can i make it more scalable in that particular case i take my that microservices and up there multiple instances of that microservices 
and from my backend layer i can give a multiple calls to the different uh, multiple services which has been hosted parallelly so in that particular case i can scale as much as i can but that's a one sort of a problem which i i resolve by using the microservices there are another pointers also then we need to become and go to the next slide to understand that importance so this is a containerization so why i need a container now i created my microservices i can deploy it as much as number of times so my scalability is up and running as much as scale i can but now it's a time how much time actually my microservice is taking to get uh, build and then deploy to the another server do my system is really uh, good to take much of that time or i require to reduce my time to deploy the services so what i can do to manage this time to create it as much as instance i want to do my microservices so there the container come into the picture so what containers are so containers are like a container so it contains my all the code my all the libraries and make a one bundle out of it and by using any system like a docker i can play against my container i mean docker is nothing but if i say it's a very simple notepad you are writing a code scripts line into this okay you have to be installed dot net framework you have to be installed ias server you have to be take a code you have to build the code and you have to be deploy into the ias you have to make a folders these scripting i have to be write into the notepad which give me a container image which makes a container image for me and then once i have a container image i can very frequently put it into the any of the virtual machine if i am into the cloud or even if i am into the on premises i can put those images very frequently up and running into my local servers so this actually help me out in saying okay now i have a services how can make a scalable and i can make my system scalable within the given time it's not even taking a much time so that is how the containers is helpful for us then what is the fas which is functional as a service generally it is called a serverless so i started with my presentation saying microservices containers and the serverless so serverless is saying even into the container i need to be take care of my server when i say the server then what is my infrastructure or a hardware what is the operating system on top of the hardware and then only i can run the container so again if i have to be reduce the time and do my scalability more and more so i have to be do my services different instances and container is helping me out in managing that instances within the time but let's say if i do not need to take care of making a instance of my service even what is the virtual machine or a inbuilt server where i have to be install what is the operating system and whatever the time it is taking actually getting reduced if i just need to say okay this is my functionality i write it in my function so my if my function is a plus b equals to c and if i required a thousands or a millions of a hit all together into that service i say i just know what is my function and that actually comes as an a function as a service how we can do it so generally it's more about a cloud technology so if we go aws is provide a lambda so lambda is nothing but an editor where you just go and there is a defined language for that i think python they have supported and they are supported c sharp also there are some multi other languages where you can write that particular function let's say a plus b equals to c or a plus b equals to 2 and you do not need to worry about that all the servers all the runtime environments all the engines infrastructure operating system aws or in that particular case if i go to the azure or microsoft world they have a azure functions so they take care and you can scale it as much as it's possible you do not need to worry about making the instances you do not need to worry about to make a container you do not need to worry about to write a dockers and anything you just write a function and then that particular function with the event driven you can call from your back end from any other triggers point itself so that is more about the serverless or function as in a service yes ibm also provide the same so ibm also say it's an ibm cloud functions so that is more about the journey of the application so i am not talking about the uh, monolithic things it's more about the virtualizations which help us into the scalability of the application so initially we have a data centers so we can increase the capacity of our data centers to make our own application scalable put more of the instances over there 
then we come as in a cloud IAS where cloud is saying that I will be providing you the as much as machines you want you do not need to worry about that and it's more about as you go pay so if you required you are paying it if you don't require you don't pay it and so many other features which generally cloud service providers are giving then we have coming as in a platform as in a services where they are saying that why you are making your own services there are the services available you can scale your application by just consuming that services and that is how it's called platform as a services here I can say uh, uh, microservices come into the pictures where you can start using the PaaS system then we have a containers which we have already talked about that how you can deploy your uh, microservice as fast as much as possible and it helps you out to reduce the time while scaling your system and finally we have a serverless which is introduced into 2015 where we do not even need to take care of my hardware and the operating system which is server rather nothing to take care about the container making the container files and hosting it I just go and write my business functionality into the functions which is provided by the cloud directly whatever the language they have suggested or supported and just run it by the event driven programming to make my system scalable and as fast as possible so that is how uh, we talked about the monolithic microservices containerizations and the serverless thank you mm -hmm.